The plan today is to cover the entire map every time we get on a map in ink. But not just any ink. We're going to make all of the enemies play the floor as lava. How are we going to do this? Easy. Max poison ink, hindrance damage, and sticky ink. So they're just trapped there. Additionally, I'm also going to try and get ink mine for both Pearl and me. Hi, you stepped into the minefield. Goodbye. It was the last step you ever took. Run down. And spin in a school zone again. Oops. My bad. Mollusk, your day of reckoning has come. I have brought an entire minefield with me. In case it wasn't enough, to supplement all of that, I'm also going to try and get um, the movement chip for inking. Hindrance damage. There we go. Grab. Uh, what is it? The move speed. Move speed while inking. It's, it's, it's that chip. I forget the name of it. Uh, and then I'm also going to try and get mobile ink recovery. So that we don't have to worry about not moving. Oh, and also max ink coverage, obviously. This is, what would be the point if I wasn't covering more than I really should be allowed to with roller? Because I have gotten max ink uh, coverage on roller before, and it it's kind of dumb. Like, I'm not going to lie. It's actually kind of an understatement. It's really dumb. Like, it's just really dumb. I don't know why it is as... Like, much as it is. It, but it, it's absurd. Drone Ink Mine, here it is. Here it is, we stay winning. We stay winning. Oh, and also, uh, if I have space for it, like, Turf Drone Charge, um, and just more Drone Gauge Charge stuff would be nice to have, so that we can get more Ink Mines. I want, I want it to just get to the point where the enemies are not allowed to walk. <laughs> like, they try and take a step and just die. We're just creating a minefield. What am I doing? I have burst bombs. Oh, 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 the three for one. The three for one sale. I can't believe they have bulk deals on the enemies. Uh, moving ink speed, that's what it is. It's moving ink speed. That's the chip I was thinking of. What's, what's the point of, you know, having all of this ink coverage if you can't do it fast? Why do it and be slow when you could do it and be fast? You know, maybe if I stop trying to chase them and instead, you know, well, planned ahead. Never mind, I did plan ahead. By chasing them, I have planned ahead inadvertently. Get run over. Uh, poison ink. Or vending machine, but I don't have enough funds really to make vending machine worth it right now, so we're just going to take poison ink and start getting everything online. Also, I've never maxed out sticky ink before, apparently. Which isn't too surprising to me just with my play style and how I like to play the game but it was like I saw that I'm like huh how have I not maxed that before with the amount of runs I've done of this because before I started making videos of it uh like this type of run is just kind of something that I was doing in my free time for a little bit too like just these types of runs just because you know they're silly and I wanted to see what could happen. And I'm like, and then I had the great idea of, oh, you know what? I bet other people will be interested in seeing this too. So here we are. Hey, buddy, wake up. I missed. Oh my gosh, are they both going up there? What is going on? There we go. Oh, hello. You are not my friend. Friends? No, they're one singular entity. All three of them count as one singular entity. They're a hive mind. You think the gelatins? Oh my gosh, that's their name. That's what they're called. Sorry, I just like always have trouble remembering what the actual name for them is. So like... Just, I just kind of had the, like, light bulb moment of, oh my gosh, they're called gelatins. That's what they're called. I'm going to grab Turf Drone Gauge. Because, uh, harder difficulty and bonus, so more money and potentially even more money. 
Okay, nope, saturation. Come here. Come back here. Okay, but like... Wait. Turf, turf drone gauge is kind of insane. Like, the rate this is going up just from me walking with... Level 1 is wild. Oh, the boom 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 ink recovery, baby. Yes. Two of them. Two mobile ink recoveries. Cause, you know, it's better than one. <sighs> Here we go again. It's time for this level. It's been a hot minute since I had to do this one. No, they're gonna get over there. I cannot have that. Let's claim this real quick. Okay, that's insane how much easier that is if you deal with the snipers instead of just letting them exist. That was somehow a new fastest time. Boss time. Let's go do this, and then we'll take the vending machine, and hopefully the vending machine is kind to us. However, considering this is like the one time I want Ink Mine to show up in the vending machine, it's probably not going to. And it's going to give me every other sub weapon type. Just to spite me. I know how this works. I play Genshin Impact, I know how wanting things works. The game refuses to give you what you want. I've farmed artifacts, I know how this goes. Man, I can't believe Roller doesn't have range. Why ever would Roller not have range? I cannot see anything. Well, like, I can see, but I'm just not using the camera well. This is entirely my fault, and it's completely avoidable. Wait, can I just run them over? Oh my gosh, I can. What a good game. Eh, and I'll kill you. Kill you, I said kill you. This means you die. It means you die, thank you. Vending machine time. Everybody's favorite. Gambling. I think side order should have a gacha mechanic for chips. Like, there should be an alternative vending machine that's cheaper, but it it's completely random what you get. And like, I mean, this is too, but it's you choose from a selection. It's the illusion of choice. Anyways, what did I say about, uh, Ink Mine and not appearing? Engage charge. Ah, uh, you know what? I can risk another reroll after this if needed. Okay, you know what? I'll max Drone Ink Mine. I guess that's what we're doing today. We're maxing Drone Ink Mine. I also made sure to, like, wait the drone chips so I could only get one of them. And it was, all, and it was, and the only ones that I was allowed to get would be, like, Ink Mine or Splat Bomb. Anything else was just disabled. I don't appear to be running out of ink. Hang on. Do, do I really just not need more? Is Do I have enough, like, mobile ink recovery that I just don't need more ink? Huh? Did not realize I was already at that point. You know what I think this game would could benefit from? I wish there was, like, an easier way to tell how much ink you had ra besides just looking at, like, your inkling rock doing back. Because, like, that's really inconvenient to figure out from. You know what? Just guarantee I don't run out of ink. Just guarantee I don't run out of ink. Why not? I'd love to permanently have ink. Just from walking. Let me get my steps in. No, oh, I'm in trouble. I'm running away. I'm just gonna keep running. I, this will work, right? I mean, it, actually, it kind of is working. Wait, these are... I can just kill three of these. Huh. That actually worked incredibly well. <laughs> nice. I just kind of inked the base of them and then they took the poisoning damage. You know, I'm not going to say no to max mobile ink recovery. Because it's funny. I'm going to have more ink than I need, I think. But that's fine. Oh, I am in danger. Never mind, I am no longer in danger. I forgot I just had mines. I'm just going to chill up here, I think and do this. This seems to be working. Let me just ink there, so that they, if they try to walk to me, they just die. Here real quick. Wait, can they trigger ink mine from below it? Does, wait, does ink mine not have like a vertical limit for its trigger box? I'm really curious how ink mine works now. Uh, don't need drone gauge charge. Stop giving me drone gauge charge. We stay winning. Why did I bother going into my ink? I don't need to do that. I'm moving. 
Like, I don't need to go into my ink if I'm just moving. Let me spawn camp them. Let me place mines at their spawn. So that they die as soon as they try and exist. I should also get, like, mobile drone gauge. I feel like the word drone is losing any meaning to me right now. Because I've, I've said drone so much that the word has lost any semblance of meaning. It's just a combination of sounds at this point. Anyway, speaking of mobile drone gauge, this started as, like, I was going to focus more on the poison ink side of things. This is turning into minefield very fast. This build is turning into just a minefield. And, like, I'm not opposed to it, because it's funny. But it just was not how I was intending this to go. Hi, you stepped into the minefield. Goodbye. It was the last step you ever took. Hey, Pearl, could you, like, mine? And if you're feeling it, mayhaps even craft? I'm a comedic genius. Hello. Welcome to the minefield. You die now. I need to stop go trying to go in my ink. It's not gonna... It doesn't do anything for me at this point. Like, we have reached the stage where going into my ink is not necessary to recover ink. I just keep moving and get ink back for it. Oh, wait, hang on. This doesn't deal with the aerial enemies, I've just now realized. Slight flaw in the design of this build. Um, it's not capable of dealing with anything that is able to fly. It does everything else fine, but if something is capable of flying, it just doesn't deal with it. Come here. You step in that, you die. <laughs> he died anyways, he stepped on a mine. <laughs> to be fair, I think Pearl placed the mine under him. But regardless, he stepped on it. I'm just gonna ink over here. No, oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Come here. Die. I'm inking their entire spawn with the goal of making it so that when they land, they just die. Step into the minefield. Do it. I dare you. Where will you go? Yeah, where are you gonna- Idiot. <laughs> Come to the minefield, see how it goes for you. Also, I wish Pearl would place these, you know, while I was, like, in between their spawns. Just so that they could exist. Like, I don't- I wish Pearl would, did not wait for an enemy to place these. It's very annoying. You stepped on a mine, I think. I don't know for sure. <laughs> Marita, you two are doing great. Yeah, I know. I'm walking in circles and holding down the trigger. Oh, that's splashed them. Hang on, I'm not gonna touch that. Congratulations, you have splashed down onto a mine. Are you proud of yourself? <laughs> They're just dying. They're just dying. Oh my gosh, yep, there it is. I was like, you stepped on that mine. You should be dead. Why is the game so insistent on giving me drone gauge charge? Like, I already get a lot of drone gauge. I do not need extra drone gauge charge. Why are you so insistent with the drone gauge charge? <laughs> Why is it haunting me? Why is drone gauge charge just haunting me? Uh, oh my gosh. Everywhere I go, I see it. I cannot escape it. Why is it still here? I feel like the game is trying to figure out what I'm trying to do with my build and trying to give me ships that it thinks will help and it's failing miserably at it because the way I play is completely incoherent and trying to make sense of it will not help you. What? What is going on here? The universe is conspiring against me. Sticking ink would be funny, however main ink coverage. I want to get main ink coverage max if possible, just because of how dumb it gets on roller. You basically just double the size of it. Lucky, what am I supposed to do with a lucky chip saturation here? I don't need this. Run down. I've spent in a school zone again. Oops. My bad. I sure am glad that I can just create a minefield by virtue of existing. And that is a lot of items. What happened over there? Oh yeah, that's right. Things stepped into the minefield. Something touched a singular mine and everything exploded. Stop giving me drone gauge charge. The little drone gauge. Will this make you happier, game, if I take this one? Will this make you happier? Since it's danger, will this at least make you slightly happier? Stronger gelatins. Okay, but are they strong enough to survive a minefield? 
That's the real question, is can they survive a minefield now or no? Because if they can't, they lose anyways. Uh, turns out they can't. Where is the tower? I've lost it yet again. I... Why, how, why am I so good at losing this tower? Like, it is... It is a very predictable object. How do I lose it so consistently? Like, I feel like me losing it consistently is more impressive than actually being this level. Oh my gosh, what is happening down here? Okay, step into the minefield. You know, I'm bringing the minefield to you. Alright, I'm bringing the minefield to you, buddy. Have fun with it. It's your problem now. Why have the enemies wander into the minefield when you can bring the minefield to them? Where are you going? You cannot run. I mean, you can, but it's not... How did you manage to survive this? Come back here. No, come back here. To come back here. Come back here. I will drive you towards the minefield. I do not care. I will direct you towards the minefield. Okay, never mind. You've stepped... You've just put yourself into danger. I don't even know what's happening behind me. And I think that was the objective goal of this build. Was just to, like, have a bunch of sound effects and explosions happening behind me that I can hear and, like, know is happening. But not be able to see any of it. Why is there drone gauge charge here as well? Why is this chip haunting me? Okay, you know what? We can max main in coverage. I will take that. I will take max main in coverage. That is good. That aligns with the build. <sighs> I'm really hoping I can get, like, a bit more poison ink or something on this. And, you know, ink mine for myself. But also, with the amount of ink mines that Pearl was putting down, I don't think I need ink mine for myself. Oh, well. The mines are screwing me over. Uh, did they all just splash down onto a mine? Is, th is that what happened there? I wasn't looking. I'm assuming that's what happened there. Stop giving me... Drone gauge charge. Please, I'm begging you, I don't want it. You know, despite it not being like part of the plan initially, I think more mobile drone gauge is funny. I think more mobile drone gauge is just very funny to have. And also it bumps it up to a whole number instead of 1.5. Oh no. My worst nightmare. A level that doesn't have as much like inkable terrain. You know what? We're going for the vending machine here. I was hoping I could get one like the next floor and get a little more money this floor but if the game is going to give me one here i will take it instead of re-rolling and so now i say we spend all or as much as we can to try and get something for the build uh oh my gosh will it make you happy if i get this chip game is that- will it make you happy if I get it? Will you stop giving it to me if I get this? I hope it doesn't give me any ever again. I hate it here. Oh my gosh! Why has it been in every one of these? Why? Why can't I escape it? Poisoning. Okay, I will take this. I will take Poisoning Upgrade. That good. We like Poisoning Upgrade. Poisoning Upgrade good. That's an extra 100% damage on it. Unfortunate that we didn't get it up to 1000% damage, but like, whatever. Also, look at my- just look at- look at what the ink rate range on this is. It's stupid. Look at how wide of an area this just does. Anyways, uh, welcome to the floor is lava enemies. You all die. Cause it's- surprise, it's also a minefield. Don't know if you picked up on that one. Uh, you will soon enough. Trust me. As soon as you try and step where I've been, you will pick up on that. I don't even know what hit that one to make it explode finally. I think it might have been an ink mine. Yeah, it was definitely an ink mine. That's actually really funny that the ink mines are just killing them. This has got to be, like, the most anxiety-inducing thing to watch. <laughs> but the best part is I feel completely safe just doing this. And being an idiot. Like, I should not be allowed to play like this. I should be dying for this. Oh. They both exploded at the same time. Nice. Mollusk, your day of reckoning has come. I have brought an entire minefield with me. The US military wants to know my location because of the sheer amount of explosives I have. Actually, where does Pearl get all of these explosives from? Like, 
where do these come from? Is there, is it ever explained where this is all coming from? Like how these are produced? Cause they're not just ink. There, there are mechanical components to these mines cause they gotta detect, you know, an enemy nearby somehow. I would assume. Oh my gosh, he instantly triggered all of the mines that were around it. That's great, I love that. He just triggers all of the mines in his vicinity as soon as he breaks out. That's awesome. Well, I'm here to paint your floors. There's gotta be a situation where you paint your floor, right? Like, I know that's not something you hear very often, but like, there's gotta be scenarios where that is a thing that happens. Like, there's gotta be colored floors somewhere that aren't just, like, because of the naturally, like, occurring color of the material. Hey, do you have any mines around here? Let's find out. Yeah, you did. I think it's funnier if I kill him just by existing around him, rather than using, like, my special or something that makes sense. Yeah, like, I'm just dropping mines now. <laughs> That's actually really funny that you can do that. Because I don't think he's capable of, uh turning fast enough to hit you so you can just walk around him in a circle and just place mines and he can't do anything about it nice stingray nice yeah yeah you're gonna hit me with that y you're gonna hit me with that i'm terrified oh i'm in danger actually wait hang on never mind we're fine ink mine portable minefield deploy did i or did i actually did i like inadvertently oh hey music disc explode how did I get hit in that? Okay, that is just this one up. And now we start doing laughs. <laughs> so many mines just went off. Just keep placing mines, Pearl. Just keep placing the mines. He'll die eventually. Ow. You know, just die. Okay, he didn't die there. That, that's kind of rude. I, 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 I gave him an imperative and he ignored it. Why? Why would he do that? That's so rude. Anyways, though, that is going to do it for this video. So, if you liked the video, please leave a like. Uh, if you have an idea for another run, please comment it down below and I might do it at some point. Yeah, if you want to see more of this content, subscribe. Like video. <laughs> that stuff. Uh, but yeah, that is going to do it. So, thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Until then, take care and good bye.